Hi, Brian here from Microsense. Today we will be talking about our new integration kit for DJI drones. This kit will be used on most of the drones that we can fly our sensor. These include the Inspire 2, both the version 1 and the version 2, the M200 series, the Matrice 200 series, the version 1 and version 2. It also works with the Matrice 100 and the Matrice 600. Now, what's in our kit? Well, the main change to our kit is that we now have a new Gen 2 adapter that works on DJI drones. It looks like this. It also comes with a mounting kit for your DLS2. In the case of the Inspire 2, it will be a bracket that attaches to the side of the drone itself, and then you attach the DLS2 to that or in the case of the Matrice series, all of them, the 100s, the 200s, and the 600s, you will receive a mast. You attach the mast to the side, and then you attach the DLS2 to, to that mast. Now that you have your integration kit, you will need to attach it to the sensor and to the drone. The first thing you need to do is to take the screws that were included and to attach them to the back of the camera. Once that has been completed, you need to take the wire that was included and attach it to both the sensor and to the adapter. Now, once that's been done, all you need to do is to come to the front of the drone, have this offsite. You're always this Micasense piece that's on top of the camera is gonna be facing forward. Come to the side a little bit, get it into the track. Sorry. Do, do, do and simply turn it in the counterclockwise manner. Once that has been complete, you need to take the wire that connects the DLS2 to the sensor. On the side of the adapter, there is a place to plug this in. In the case of the Altum, it will work the exact same way. Now, the final piece that I want you to make sure you understand is that this, although this adapter might look like a sky port it is not a sky port the only thing that it allows you to do is to attach and to power the camera it does not allow you to communicate with the drone itself meaning you have to fly the drone with the sensor in what it was one of our automatic modes which is either in timer mode or an overlap mode so hopefully now you see how this is used. If you do have questions on this or anything else to do with your sensors, um, please go to our support desk.